Tom McGee here, welcome back to the channel guys. Talked a little bit about using uh, the exercise band in the takeaway to help control how the trail arm is. Now I'm gonna use the same drill, but also expand into the downswing and how we can use it to make that post impact really good, okay? So uh, again, I throw this, you can do it sort of over the legs or over the head, this time I'll do it over the head. So I got it over my head just resting on my trail arm okay getting a sense of of where i'm going to be at the top without any arm lift okay if that's your tendency to lift your arms too much some people need more some don't have enough uh, this is not the drill for you if you have too much or sorry if you don't have enough if you have too much arm lift and the hands take off and then the exit gets flying out away from you this is a pretty good one so with the expansion of this so now with the good takeaway okay uh, arms in good position. Now to start down, what we're trying to do is create a separation from my lead hip and my handle, okay? So I'm trying to get my lead hip to move away from my handle. What that does is it creates a lot of space for me to close that gap. So close that gap, hip get, or the handle gets close to the lead hip then post impact. And then I'm able to go around from that position. If you're a guy that had the hands sort of work away and then get out of sync and then shoot out away from you, this will feel so different. Cause on this one, I'm trying to get good separation here. And then that butt of the club is getting really close to my left pocket as I come post impact, okay? When I do that, it's gonna really keep rotating me. I'm trying to get a lot of that stretch really early, feeling like the club stays behind me as I do it. And then I'm into this position very easy for the hands to go around my body from there. And it really, you'll sense the post impact if you're a player that used to have the hands fly away from you, th this one, the hands are still, the club is still shooting out, but the handle is moving around a lot more aggressively than if it was sort of dropped behind and then throwing out away. So I'll do one more of those. So it's here, creating that little bit of a stretch move. And then that obviously gets the hands working way, way more around my body. Not that I'm trying to exit like, I'm not trying to lower my handle. I'm trying to just feel like my chest is in a good position and then I can keep pulling the grip sort of around and up post impact. That will make a big difference and make it a lot easier. Take this off here. Make it a lot easier for you to get the sense of how the hands and the body are gonna be moving post impact. Hope this helps. If you need any more help for your game, check out TommyGolf.com.